loving my time with Breath of the Wild. So, you know, hopefully I'm not pissing anyone off. <laughs> Why, hello there. It is 182 days until Elden Ring comes out on January 21st, 2022, and this is the Elden Wait. And for today, I wanted to talk about open world games and um, just some of my process. I've been playing through some open world games lately, partially because I missed a lot of the big open world games over the last generation, and I wanted to check them out sort of is a way to form a basis to see the scene that Elden Ring is coming into. And I played Horizon Zero Dawn and I played I'm playing right now Breath of the Wild. And my sort of my sort of hot take is that as Breath of the Wild as perhaps the defining like open world game of the last generation, like the big the big one, um I don't think Elden Ring has anything to learn from Breath of the Wild. And hear hear me out. <laughs> I can already feel feel it, but I don't, you know, because Elden Ring is going to be heavily in RPG. Stuff like the climbing, not so much the gliding, that would be pretty cool, but like the ability to climb up everything and the the physics uh puzzles and stuff. That is so integral to what Breath of the Wild is doing that I don't see that as something that Elden Ring would take because you know, I think it works fine for Breath of the Wild, but it doesn't have much in the way of RPG progression. And Elden Ring is very much going to be an RPG game as well as an open world game. And, you know, in that sense, Breath of the Wild just isn't that. And I think what a lot of people are saying when they talk about Breath of the Wild and hoping that Elden Ring feels a bit like that is that sense of exploration. And my basic argument is that Elden Ring already has the been from software already excel at creating a sense of exploration and they don't really need to borrow anything from Breath of the Wild because it's almost implying that from software is going to do something that I don't think they're going to do because the angle Miyazaki has taken and the angle that I've been looking at it from is that Elden Ring is an evolution of the Dark Souls formula it's an expansion of Dark Souls in that it is Dark Souls gameplay in its core, but it's creating these open fields and these environments and this connective tissue between dungeons and this whole open ecosystem to explore. And I think when a lot of people hear open world, they are automatically including the sort of like the Ubisoft tower effect and stuff and like maps with tons of side quests. And that's already not going to be the case with Elden Ring. Miyazaki has said so, and from software, that's just not how they operate. They don't have big populated towns. They've confirmed that for Elden Ring already. You know, they're not gonna have just this like big checklist of things to do, like a lot of open world games. And so I think what people, you know, really take is that that sense of wanderlust and that sense of exploration from Breath of the Wild. That's something that the Souls games have always done on the scope to which their games are built. They've always encouraged you to look behind the corners and everything. And that comes from their lineage from Kingsfield in which, you know, there's tons of secrets hidden away and tons of stuff to do. And they're not, they're directing you with the framework of the story, but it's not directly pushing you. You can do your own thing and it's, it's not holding your hand very much. So I think in that sense, it's likely to be similar to the breath of the wild, but I don't think it needs to take anything from breath of the wild because the Souls version of that and what Dark Souls does, especially like Dark Souls 1, there's already many different paths you can go and they don't, there's, there's, um, you know, articulation points, like you have to go through Sun's Fortress, there's bottlenecks for progression and I think that will still be the case with Elden Ring, but I don't think that is something that is completely unlike Breath of the Wild anyways there. And one thing that I think Elden Ring will hopefully excel at as in in comparison to Breath of the Wild is that I've enjoyed doing the shrines. I really like the physics puzzles and everything in Breath of the Wild and, and going around the world is really fun, but it's a distinct thing from what I want from Souls. And like the thing is, is for better or for worse, the shrines aren't that interesting. Like as far as like, they don't have that same sense of exploration in the same way that the world does. They have an exploration sense in that 
the way you can solve puzzles is very open and i think that's pretty cool in its own way but that's nothing i think elden ring would take and nothing i would want it to take so i just wanted to throw my, out my own <laughs> sort of hot take there that i think um it'll be a very interesting year in 2022 getting breath of the wild 2 and elden ring because you know breath of the wild was big in 2017 because it sort of did its own thing and it bucked a lot of trends of open world games and i think elden ring just by virtue of coming from the direction of following in the footsteps of dark souls and then just expanding the level design creating these open fields is also going to you know really buck the trend of what we see in a lot of open world games so um just wanted to throw that out there i'm still playing through breath of the wild but i think you know there's nothing for it to really take because then otherwise you know i you know i want the souls combat breath of the wild's fine you know i don't mind the weapon progression but that's nothing i would want for elden ring and i think the big difference there is that i want elden ring to be this big rpg that miyazaki is talking about and having all these different rpg elements and them adding in stuff like jumping and stealth adding into that helping the sense of exploration but definitely coming from the lineage of dark souls and just opening it up versus it's not coming from this like Ubisoft angle and we don't want it to do that because they're from software is not going to do that anyways. They're not going to have a big map with a bunch of markers telling you to go this way or a mini map or anything like that from software has never really held players hands. They've tried to give them the tools to figure stuff out. And I think that's very much going to be the case still in Elden Ring. So I am not concerned and I don't really think they have anything to learn. I, and I actually think Elden Ring will hopefully be a breath of fresh air for the open world genre, which can be very stagnant. And I think at this point is very well codified and I'm excited to see how Elden Ring sort of comes in sort of like Dark Souls did with action RPGs and just sort of breaks some of the rules of the genre and, you know, you know, um, uh, get some life into this otherwise really well established genre at this point. So let me know your thoughts. I know Breath of the Wild, I'm loving my time with Breath of the Wild. So, you know, hopefully I'm not pissing anyone off <laughs> by saying I don't think Elden Ring has anything to learn from Breath of the Wild. I just think, you know, in the way that I really enjoy getting to the top of a tower in Breath of the Wild and looking out and, like, looking for landscapes, From Software has always made these amazing vistas that draw you in. And Elden Ring is not going to be any different. We saw in the gameplay trailer, it has these awesome vistas. Like, they know how to frame a scene and how to pull the player's attention. They've always done that. And they're going to continue to do it with Elden Ring. So let me know your thoughts. You know, if you agree, you know, if you think there is anything they could take, if you want any mechanics or systems from Breath of the Wild in there, be very curious to hear people's thoughts, um, you know, and just let me know. And I'll see you for the next Elden Wake.